Before we get started with this video, I wanted to announce our lucky giveaway winner. That person is Maria E. Thank you to everybody who has entered this giveaway. Stay tuned for more, but let's hop into the video you came for. Hey y'all, what's up? So, I'm actually coming to y'all from out of my mom's bathroom. <laughs> And I have painfully decided to just cut all of my hair off. Now, with my hair looking how it's looking, you can't tell how much shrinkage is there. But, you know, I just got that type of shrinkage. I just to let you know why I'm cutting my hair is because of the shedding. I I don't remember when the last time I put a perm in, maybe about three years ago, and I cut a lot of my hair off then. I decided after seeing like the girl who does my hair, she puts perm in her edges, and I decided to try that. And for some reason, like I used to get a perm all the time and I had already trans started transitioning to being natural. And then I went and decided to put perm just on the edges because I liked the way it looked on a girl. Well, I also put some like around my hair in the middle just to soften it up a little bit. When I tell y'all that perm, this is in like 20, I want to say maybe 20, the end of 2016 beginning in 2017 that hair started coming out with like as I was washing it and um, I don't know what happened to make it do that because like I said I got perms before with no problem and did it myself with no problem so 2017 I cut my hair really short like to about right like neck length and I was with being flat earned, you know, still just everything was cut out, but still I didn't know exactly how to take care of my hair. But recently is when I just started to learn how to take care of my hair. Now, it did still grow with me not knowing how to take care of my hair, like from neck length all the way down to here. But over this last year, 2019, I've been learning a lot more about taking care of my hair. Like just being a lot more serious about it and finding products. And like I learned the lock method this year, which I didn't know this entire year. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting these single strand knots with these protective styles or high puffs that I'm doing. And just, yeah, like those types of things. And then I go and I trim my hair in July. And after I did, like, I, I thought I got all the single strand knots. I think I did, actually. And then I'm getting more. So it's like, why is my hair knotting up on itself? You guys see my crochet passion twists? When I took those out, I had so much tangled hair. And it's like, what's the point if I do this and then my hair is tangling upon itself? And... I'm just breaking more and more off, basically. So now I just kind of feel like maybe I should just start over. And also, just combing it whenever it's shedding so much. I've also learned that once your hair strand gets to a point of shedding, that hair strand itself isn't going to last very long. Like, it's going to grow to a certain length, and then it's going to shed again. So I feel like starting off fresh where I have basically these newer hair strands from the roots will give my hair that optimal opportunity to be able to just grow. It, it won't have that problem of that constant shedding and shedding and shedding and shedding. If y'all look back at my previous video too, I was praying to figure out why my hair was shedding so that I wouldn't have to cut it all off. But after all, I don't know, I just decided why keep 
putting myself through this. I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. I'm so nervous because there's so much hair and I know this is a process, but the emotions behind it is just crazy. Never cut so much off before. All right, y'all. Nervous and procrastinating like emotions. These are hair scissors from Amazon. I'll link them down below if you're interested, but use some hair scissors so you don't create split ends and then have a whole nother problem on your hands. I'm trying to decide exactly how I want to do this. <sighs> Just thinking about cutting it. Oh, how much? I do also have a plastic bag brought to you by your local grocery store. Let's just... <sighs> this is the first cut, y'all. It's only the third. I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Well, I guess it gets a little easier. My mom is like flipping out. She wouldn't even come in here with me while I do this. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. But I don't want to go through and keep thinking what if, what if, what if, what if. While my hair is just constantly, constantly shedding. Oh, this is so strange. I brought two of those bags. This is crazy. I don't know why I'm talking so low, probably because my mom is in there freaking out that I'm cutting my hair. She's more upset. She's like mad at me, y'all. Like, actually, legit mad at me. She just did it. Showed it to me like, hey, it's gone. I'm gonna move to the second bag because that bag is already like filled up pretty much. But I hope this one to go back happier and healthier. Get it over there. It's already done. Oh my god. I've been having dreams, like legit dreams about this. And now I'm doing it. Need another baggie. Right How I feel is just like I can't believe I just did it. That's exactly how I feel right now. I can't believe I just cut all my hair off. And just like that, it's just gone. So weird looking at myself and I don't have no hair. But I actually feel like okay. I'm not like ready to cry or anything. My hair is so soft. All right. About to get a little closer. This is it. I wash conditioned with this Aussie Three Minute Miracle color. I don't have any color in my hair, obviously, but my mom does, so that's what we had. Uh, after I conditioned. Rinse that out. I put in my Cantu leave-in conditioner and then my Wild Grove hair oil and then followed by the leave-in conditioner one more time. I also have this mixture that I made to help my hair grow. My edges grow back in particular with its pumpkin seed oil. 
and also making black castor oil so those are the only products that are in my hair right now and you guys i know like some people get all emotional and freaked out and stuff but i actually kind of like it i don't know what the hell to do with it right now i just put this side part in um you know i can put some edge control and whatever but actually i think I don't think I would be posting this until maybe like two months after so I can feel a little better about you know having this short hair I'm going to go put a wig on right now <laughs> and that'll probably be the video that you guys will see and not even know that I big chopped my hair but yeah I actually feel pretty good about it like I don't know I just I feel more nervous and I know you probably shouldn't feel this way but it's just the honest to god truth within me i feel more nervous for people who know me to see my hair like this like my mom i feel nervous for her to see me so i'm gonna like sneak into my room and put my wig on before she even gets to see it and i don't know how long that'll last for but we'll see i feel nervous about you guys seeing it before it's like grown out a little bit more but like I said I actually kind of like it so who knows how I'll feel down the road if I just want to decide to keep it if I learn how to style it <laughs> but yeah here's a little closer look one thing that I instantly feel like uh, my hair is just so soft and I'm used to having this really soft hair but now that I've cut this the other hair off is just like I feel that softness again the other thing I noticed is that my hair it just I don't know why it just feels thick to me like you know this is all the hair that's supposed to be here everything that I just cut off it was shedding and it was missing pieces I'm sure I think just evening it out it feels thicker my edges I've been trying to grow back for a while you know it's like they're less noticeable um let me make sure i'm showing you yeah they're like less noticeable i feel like that you know i'm missing those little pieces like see you can't really even tell now but like until i pull it because it's just you can see that and this is i believe you know it may it may be permanent um i'll insert some pictures back in 2017 where this was just like bought and i didn't even realize because i still feel like they're super bald but i didn't realize how bald they were like this is such an improvement that I didn't even realize happened. You know, I'm just like, they're still so bald and scarce. And then I seen those pictures and I'm like, oh my God. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm talking so less, because my mom's here and she's like super freaking out. So I don't want her to hear everything that's going on in here. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I actually don't have any regrets. It's weird, but this is it. This is me now. And uh, I'm very interested on how this journey is going to go. And I hope you guys liked it and want to see the rest of the journey. And uh, yeah, if you do, subscribe. And we're just going to see how this goes together. If you have some products that you want, me to try or recommend for me to try go ahead and let me know in the comments down below because you know it's a journey i don't i've never cut my hair this short before all the help will be greatly appreciated i will see you guys in the next one hit the notification bell subscribe if you want to see you know my my journey thank you guys for watching